Waiting on the interception. Snayman on! Snayman will run half the length of the pitch. Next time the ball goes dead, the referee should blow his whistle. Is there time for one last bath shout at a try? Break from Malone, still going Malone, he had Mears outside and Mears appeared to be held up there by Alan Dickens before he got the ball, but still the opportunities are there. Barkley takes the tackle. Leeds have to be careful of conceding a penalty. Malone, Feonati was waiting on the interception. Snayman on! Snayman will run half the length of the pitch. And when Bath were searching for their own try just before half time, they have given one to Leeds and to the Springbok Andre Snayman. Well, once he got loose to the first tackle, there was only one winner of that race, and it wasn't a Bath player, but. But I'm afraid this, I mean, this pass was so telegraphed he could have sent a letter before he sent it. I mean, he wound up so far and Snayman, well, he, I was going to say he guessed, but he, he was given every clue. Well, he scored a spectacular try for South Africa here against England back in 1997. One or two of you might remember that one. Well, that was equally spectacular. And that is a real body blow as well to Bath just when you felt they were coming back into this cup final it's a seven point moment and it's the last moment of the first half it's been converted by Gordon Ross but Andre Snayman South Africa's most cap center has a cup final try Leeds have two of them second scored by Snayman the first was scored by Chris Bell and they run off together as a team leading the favourites at half-time in the final by 20 points to nine. Touch the cup. 30 seconds to go. And surely there's no way out of this big dark hole for Bath now. They'll keep plugging. It's what they've been doing all second half, but they've rarely looked like scoring. Fernati, who's run his socks off in the course of the club all season. They may will be back here in a month or so's time in the Premiership in the Championship final but that's for another day this is what they wanted and that defence is continuing to suffocate them we're into injury time and Leeds know that that is that the next time the ball goes dead the referee Dave Pearson ought to blow the whistle and bring down the curtain on one of the most extraordinary matches in cup final history that's it Leeds have won the cup it's worth repeating Leeds have beaten Bath in their first ever cup final it is the greatest day in the history of this club well they deserve every beer they'll have tonight because their bodies will ache because they put them on the line time and time again Bath will be disconsolate but when you get that much ball and you have that much possession and that much time in the half you've got to do better don't take anything away from the efforts of Leeds but they were assisted by some woeful decision making and some well moments of imprecision and ill discipline and lack of well lack of now at, at crucial times from Bath they won't care, nor should they care, because if ever a victory was won from the pure heart, this was it. And everybody else involved in the club, you know, it's a great day, it's a proud day for us. And how appropriate that the club's longest serving player, Mike Shelley, the 33-year-old, lifts the cup. The unlikeliest winners in the history of this competition. The Power Gen Cup in 2005 has been taken gloriously and unexpectedly by the Tykes, a Twickenham debut, the greatest day in the history of Leeds Rugby Union Club.